Hi, and welcome to my second video as a simple stitcher. Um, I'm very excited about this. I'm going to show you some of my stash. I've just been going through my stash and I've realized um, I have quite a bit of stash. I'm a bit of a chart hoarder. I don't hoard fabric. I don't really hoard kits, although a couple of my favorite, favorite um, cross stitch things that I'm gonna do are kits. But um, I don't hoard kits and I don't hoard floss. I don't have um, a lot of the beautiful hand dyed floss or anything like that. Um, and I don't have multiple sets of DMC or anything. I've got one set um, and I'm slowly putting that on bobbins. But I definitely do hoard charts and I was actually, <laughs> I was actually a little bit embarrassed um, when I was going through my stash and I realized how much I actually have. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit. But that's all right. I don't smoke. I don't drink a lot. I don't. Um, I don't go out a lot. I'm not a big partier. I spend a lot of my time at home stitching and and um, and enjoying that. So it's my hobby. So I enjoy it. So I've got quite a few. I've got a few favourites here to show you. Um, I haven't started them. Uh, there's some that I don't know when I'll start. I'm sort of. I like having them and knowing that I've got them to stitch, and they won't take very long. Um, they're pretty quick, so uh, that they're you know they're they're nice to have, and um, know that I can stitch them at some point in the future. And then I've got other ones that I just haven't got to yet. And I've got a couple of favourites that are really beautiful, but I'm a little bit intimidated by them. So I don't know when I'll get to start those. I'll I'll give them a crack eventually. So um, I'm going to start with the two. Oops. All right. Sorry. Out the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm looking after my mum's cats as well as my cats. So we've got five cats in the house at the moment and three dogs. And that was Chili, one of my mum's cats. And he's a big, fat buffed. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I'm going to start with um, the two kits that I've got that are my favorite, that, yeah, that I really, really like. Um, I searched for these. I feel like I've got cat fur on here. For quite a while um, but they like I said um, all these charts and kits aren't hard like you can find them some of them a lot of them are out of print now um, but you can find them you just search on eBay and Etsy and um, around the traps and you can get your hands on copies um, some of them can be expensive because they're no longer in print uh, but you can find them cheaper as well it's just a matter of like keeping your eye out and looking to see you know see what you can find and it depends on what your price point is as well so and how badly you want something so yeah so the first one that I've got is um, by Elsa Williams and it's the summer music cross stitch and this is what it looks like Um, and it's a treble clef um, with spring flowers and butterflies and I really love it. Um, I only recently got this one um, and it's it's really it's really pretty with all its flowers and and the treble clef. The treble clef, clef I used to play piano when I was younger and um, when we used to have piano concerts and things like that you know you, you'd get people would get gifts of little treble clefs and things like that and I don't know. I've always liked treble clefts ever since I did music and saw all the pretty musical treble clef things that you could get. So I was, as soon as I saw this kit, I fell in love with it and um, needed to, oh, wanted to get a copy of it. And it took me quite a while to find it. It was, it was a little bit tricky to get my hands on this one. People seem to snap this one up um, when they, when it comes up. But I did, I did get a copy, and, and if you want a copy, I'm sure if you just, you know, you keep searching, you'll be able to get one. Anyway, so, so that's my, that's my. Um, that's one of my favourites in my stash. Um, it's on 14 count Ada. Um, it just says 100% cotton floss, so I'm not sure what floss it's stitched with. Now, and the finish size is 8 inches by 16. So I'll start, hopefully I'll, I'll get to that one soon, but it's very beautiful. So that's that's my first, that's the first one in my stash that that I really love, I haven't got to yet. 
and that's by Elsa Williams. And the second kit that I've got, um, the, the second one, um, I got this one for a steal. I have seen this one on a website called Ostentatious Offerings. I'm not sure if it's still there at the moment, but it was, and it was quite expensive. It was about $220 or something like that. And I thought, I don't want to pay $220 for um, this kit. So I kept searching and I actually found it on eBay for $70. I think it was. I paid seventy dollars for a kit for the kit, and it's it's by Janlin, um, and it's called the Kiss. And that's the chart, and it's just beautiful. I love the colours, and it's got um, it's got gold blending filament. It comes in the kit, and that's the kit, and there's gold blending filaments through there. It's all pre-sorted which makes it easier. I'm not good with kits. I bought a kit that was um, not pre-sorted and I played with it for about five minutes and then got sick of it because I was too worried. I was going to sort the colours into the wrong ones and wrong, yeah, for the wrong um, symbols and I haven't done it. Um, but this one's really lovely. I love the fairies, the butterflies and the fairies with the flowers and, and it's just really lovely. It's really beautiful. So... This one took me a while to find as well. I'd seen it, someone stitched it on Facebook and I saw it and then I, so I, I just kept searching. I just kept searching and checking eBay every day um, for however long until I found it. And it came up and then came up for $70. So, you know, something like that. So it was a real, uh, for me, that was a bargain because the ones that I'd seen, well, the one I'd seen on, on the internet um, on an actual cross stitch shop was about 220 or 250 dollars or something so that was good it was about a third of the price so i was very happy with that um in my last video you would have seen in my first video that i like terence nolan charts and these can be these can be tricky to find too but they do come up and i've got a thing for bugs and beetles so i like beetles and bugs and flies and bees and all that sort of stuff that's that's the the charts that of his that I like um I'm not into the butterflies I'm not into the seashells um he does butterflies and seashells and that but I'm not into those ones but I am into the bugs and the beetles so you would have seen that I was working on my in my last video that I was working on my orchid bee well I've also got a jeweled scarab beetle kit this one's a kit. It actually does have the floss um, in it. So, and the fabric. And this is the one, this is it. It's very beautiful. When we used to go camping when I was, um, when I was, I was younger, we used to go to parks that had um, camping grounds and they had cicadas and, and that. And you used to play in the garden and there were scarab beetles and things like that. And, so it's a bit sentimental for me, this one. So it's really nice. Um, it uses DMC floss, Krennic braid. It's got We Shell 32 count lamb's wool linen. Um, and I think this one's got everything in it. Although I thought that the orchid bee had everything in it and turned out it's missing some stuff, which I've got to order. So we'll see when I go to do it. Um, but that one's, that one's lovely. So that's my... That's another favourite. And then I've got these two. And these are just charts. These are Terence Nolan's as well. But these are two of the Ladybird collections that he has. Um, and we've got... This is Wee Beasties. This is part four. The Wee Beasties. And there's three Ladybirds. And they've got the writing below them. They've got the type of um, Ladybird that it is. So there's the white one, which is the Ash Grey Ladybug. Then there's the pure red one, which is the California ladybug, that one. And then it's got this one, which is the twice stabbed ladybug. So they're really pretty. And that that's um, also stitched on um, using DMC floss and We Shall Vintage 32 count linen. So, and I'll stitch them all on the standard. I think hopefully they're all the same fabric or similar so that when I stitch them and frame them, um, they'll look, they'll match. And these don't take me, these don't take very long, like they're nice quick stitches, but, and the detail's just beautiful. I'm loving the way the orchid bees turning out. And then I've got Wee Beasties part three, which is the three more ladybugs, which I showed you. So there's the top one, the lateral ladybug, which is blue, uh, black and red. It's 
different here. The black one has got some more red spots on it. Um, then we've got the two spotted ladybug. Two spots. And then the nine spotted ladybug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which has got nine spots. So that's pretty as well. And that's also stitched on We Shall Vintage, we shall, we shall vintage 32 count. So that's really pretty. So that's Wee Beasties Part 3. Um, and they do come up. Oh, I've got cat fur all over me. Okay. So then the next thing that I've got, um, and this isn't hard to find. You can get this easily on Heaven and Earth Design. This is my favorite. Um, I just got this. It's a really pretty um, Josephine Wall chart. Um, and I saw it. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. Cool to me. Um, this is it. Sorry about the glare. And it's called Mer Angel. And um, so you've got the mermaid that's also got wings. So it's an angel and a mermaid all in one. And then I love the thing that I love about this is it's got the beautiful sky and the landscape. And then it's got the creek and the water lilies. But then underneath, there's like another whole scene under the water where the water lilies go down into the base of the river. And then there's um, some irises over here, which might be a bit hard to see. And there's horses and... Um, and sheep in here. So the detail, I mean, Josephine Wall's pictures are just amazing. But the detail in here is just amazing. And it's like this, these two landscapes within one, but it ties through. So you've got the you've got the air for the angel, and then you've got the water scene for the mermaid. And um, it's just stunning. So that'll be my next Heaven and Earth Start design after I do finish my um, carousel horse, which is also a Heaven and Earth design one. So that's just stunning. But that's, that's available now. So you can just buy that. Ooh. Okay, and then I've got some Mirabilia. This is my entire collection of Mirabilia. Um, but they're all very pretty. So just quickly, I've got um, Petal Fairy. Which is pretty and is still available. I love that beautiful pink flower. I've got um, the Silver Moon Tea. I love my Earl Grey tea, and it's really cute because it says Earl Grey tea on the bottom. Um, that's lovely, lots of beads and, and, and prettiness. Then I've got Under the Friendship Tree. This was going out of print, and I decided that I actually would like it, and rather than um, buy it once it was hard to find and it was going to be more expensive, I snapped it up. I ordered my copy now to save myself some money. I love it. I love the... I love the lushness of their dresses and they're so pretty and then they've got the beautiful red apples and above and it's just so decadent it's just gorgeous beautiful then I um, have got I got this one through a stash site mermaid of pearls it's the only mermaid uh, mirabilia chart mirabilia chart that I have and I, I liked it I thought it was very pretty I think there's quite a bit of beading involved in this. I have a feeling that that's all beading, but I'm not sure. But that's lovely. And then I got um, Ashley's Roses. I bought, I got that for a present um, last year or the year before. I love the colouring and the fabric just looks so lush and decadent. And then there's also the beautiful flowers and, and you know, the roses. And oh, it's just so... And the, the, yeah, it's just, just so rich and lovely. So, I've got that one. And then I've got Giggles in the Snow. And I couldn't resist this one. It's so cute. With the little girl and the little boy making snow angels. And again, the fabric. It just looks... The reason that I like it is the colours in it. And the, the richness of the fabric. It's sort of hard to see, but... The richness of the fabric and the you know there's the stripes and then there's the blues and then there's the little spots and then she's got her beautiful orange jacket and the earmuffs and you know it's just so cute and I love that I love the little detail all that detail and then I've got two other mirabilia which are a bit hard to get but you can absolutely get them all the time as well so I've got um, Seaside Kingdom which is very pretty so I just got that on eBay. And the detailing that's beautiful. 
It's got little ribbons and, and some little bits and pieces to sew on it. It's not as rich in the fabrics and stuff as the other ones, but it's really lovely. I love the sandcastle and the kids playing and, and it's very beautiful. And then I've got this one, which is um, Touching the Autumn Sky. And this is by far my absolute favorite. Again, all the fabric is so rich and so luscious and you've got your stripes and then you've got the, you know, the brown jacket and then the folds of fabric that are flowing out behind her and the collar, is it the collar? Oh, scarf, it's got a scarf and she's got her beautiful little shoes with the bows on them and oh, it's just divine. I love, I just love it. It's so rich, so beautiful. So I'll stitch that one soon. And you see them stitching up. People are stitching them up on Facebook. And they just look gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So then I've got another bunch of... Now, these ones intimidate me. I don't know when I'm going to get to stitch these ones. They're just divine. But they're tricky. And they're all by Teresa Wensler. I'm sure most of you would know who stitched Teresa Wensler or have seen her charts. That They're quite complicated. The, the charts are hand-drawn which um, can make them a little bit um, harder to read, but they have um, specialty stitches. So, I don't know, I haven't done anything with specialty, like any real specialty stitches, so. And I've seen comments from people on Facebook who've done them and, and they're quite a challenge. So we'll see, but they're beautiful. So I've got them and I will have a go at them. Um, I just need to be in the right frame of mind to give it a crack. So the first one that I've got is Carousel. I'm sure you've all seen this. It's beautiful. I love the pinks and the colours in it. And the Carousel horses. And once they're stitched up, these look amazing. They're just divine. I love the Carousel horses and, and that. They're beautiful. So I've got that one. And then I've got Midnight Magical Night, which is a winter scene. And... And that's it there. So there's, I can't see what I'm showing you. So it's a beautiful like queen or something in her carriage being pulled along by winged horses. And that, it's just beautiful. That looks lovely. Once it's stitched up, it'd be amazing. So I couldn't resist that one. So I bought myself that one. But again, I think this one's got specialty like quarter stitches and back stitching and all sorts of things in it. So, yeah, it's going to be a challenge as well. These will be one at a time, but I am, I'm definitely going to get through these. And then this one as well. I couldn't resist when I saw this one. Um, it's called Companions. And it's again by Teresa Winsler. And it's the Santa Claus. Oh, I think he's Santa Claus. May not be. Looks like Santa Claus to me, just not a traditional one. With really his beautiful Clydesdale horse and he's all kitted up. And that looks divine as well. So I've got that one in my stash. And then I've got the four carousel horses by Teresa Winsor. So I'll quickly show you those. So more carousel horses. So have you noticed the theme here? I like horses. So carousel horse number one, which is summer. Number two, I think that's spring. Oh, fall. Then we've got winter. It's delightful as well. And then spring. That's pretty. So I've got those. So then my other great obsession in life, aside from cross stitch, is Just Nan. Love Just Nan. Just Nan. I have so many Just Nan kids, but let me just pause this for a minute and I'll show you how they stitch up if you're not familiar. So they're teeny tiny. So all these kits, so I've got a lot of Just Nan kits and I have a lot, but they're really little and they don't take very long to stitch up. So I have the Just Nan kits and I love them because I love cute, cute, petite little things, but you can stitch them up in no time. Um, they're really fast and then you assemble them and then they're done. So these are three that I've done previously. So this is how they, this is how tiny they are when they stitch up. So 
they're little and they're beautiful So this is a Christmas one. This is a gingerbread mouse, gingerbread jingle mouse. So this is one, um, I'm not sure when, with, this wasn't released this Christmas, it might have been released last Christmas. So they're so cute. And then this is the bunny, this is honey bunny. Again, very little. And they're really quick. So it doesn't take long to do all that stitching. There's a little bit of beading, oops, a little bit of beading, and then you, you know you cut out the ears and you sew on the tail and it's got a little bee and they're just they're gorgeous. And then this is a humbug. So I stitched this humbug and assembled it. And if you roll it around, you can see the little mice. So this is garden porch mouse. It's got the beautiful pot with the flowers and the pansies and that, and then the little mice. So if you actually roll it, you see the mice running around throughout the, um, the humbug. And then it's got its little pin that goes with it. All the Just Nan, a lot of the Just Nan stuff has um, a pin. Which way up does this go? Um, has a pin that goes with it so um, you get the pin and the little pin's got focus it's not focusing it's got a little mouse and a leaf on it and it's really beautiful so that's the sort of thing that just nan does so they're all little projects and um quick stitches and really cute so this is my latest this is the last christmas one so there was the gingerbread gin, gingerbread jingle mouth so then this is my other this is the other one that i'm going to do soon one of the stash. It's probably my favourite at the moment that I'll do next. And it's the latest Christmas one and it's reindeer. The reindeer gingerbread mouse. So it's got little horn, uh, it's got little reindeer antlers that might be hard to see and it's got little tail and it's got little, little harness. Little red nose. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cute. And then when I get these kits I get the fabric. Because I get them through silver needle. Silver Needle sends you out the squares of fabric and then they send you out the anything else that you so the fabric and the chart. Because otherwise you've got to get like the fabric and it's fun. So that's my that's my probably my next just nan stitch. I'm currently doing the autumn humbug. So one of these, but it's the um, autumn humbug from the uh, summer autumn winter spring series. So I'll finish that and then I might start that one. Then these are my other ones that I've collected from Just Nan. Not all of them. I've got a lot of other ones, but these are my favourite ones. So I've got Hop. So this is the tin. So you get a little tin. There's lots of these, but um, for me, the only um, the only tin that I've tin um, kit that I've got is um, this little um, Hop one. So it's got the little tin with the little bunnies, and I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's something. And then you stitch up the top, so the top's blank. Ouch. <laughs> it just bang went over. And then you stitch up the top with this pattern, which is little flowers, more pansies and flowers, and it's got a little emblem in them when you put this trimming around the outside, and then you stick it onto the top of the tin. And there's a ribbon, so that's a ribbon that goes around the edge as well. So you put that together. So that looks really beautiful. And then to go with that, there's a little needle book sealer fob. So that's the tin. And then that's the little needle book with the bunny string. The camera's not focusing very well. And a pansy on the other side. You make it up and you can attach it to your scissors. And then you've got your little needle holder. I've got a few needle holders now. I'm accumulating a few. So it's very cute, and then it comes with the little um, the fabric for the finishing and the beads and the little pin, the little I don't know clip to close the needle fob and that sort of thing. And then there's another little packet for the finishing, the top of the tin. So you get your little bit of paper. Some I think that's um, binding, self adhesive binding. And then there's the ribbon and the beads and the little top. For the middle so it's very very pretty and very cute so that's my fat that's one of my faves then i've got queen bluebird box i've seen these on ebay recently like the other day when i was looking there's at least two or three of these kits at different prices so 
If you're interested, get on um, eBay and have a look and check them out. Um, and this is an or queen, it's called Queen's Bluebird, Queen Bluebird's box, and it's for your orts. So I really should make this up because at the moment I just stuff mine into my um, my DMC box, and I've got a little thing. So that's what it looks like. So it's got a bluebird on the top. The makeup she holds something, and then this is the box, and the detail is just divine. Another one of the pots, like in the other um, in the humbug I did, and then there's a bunny rabbit. I think that's a turtle. Flowers, bluebirds. One's got some little stuff sewn onto it. And then they're beehives and bees. So cute. It's the same side again. And then you put fabric on the inside and you can use her as a pin holder. It's just gorgeous. I've got to get some stuff to do this though. I nearly started it um, not long ago. Last year. But, um... I was missing some stuff that I needed for it. And it comes with a little kit. So, instructions. I don't know if you can see in there. You can see the fabric. So, the fabric that's on the inside of the box. Lid. It's there. It's in there. And the other bits and pieces. And you got your little beads and all that sort of stuff. So, it's lovely. So, and you get your little... So, for the frame, if you're wondering how you do the box frame... That's there, you get the piece of cardboard and then you stitch it up, the fabric, put the, and then attach it to that. Easier said than done, maybe, but we'll give it a go. Okay, I'll just put that away quickly. Trying to not make this not take too long. Um, and then I've got this one. This is another Just Nan Christmas workshop. And it's it, you stitch it all up at the back. It's got the fabric, tassels. It's got a little box of um, bits and pieces. It's got the little top for the box, a thread winder, some other stuff in there. got some fabric it's got the fabric that you use to stitch it and it's very pretty it's got little elves on it I think it's the same on all sides on the outside the stitching I'm not sure and inside's a little Christmas tree that you make up and then you see the little pocket for the the um, floss winder and then there's a little needle cutter and Christmas tree in the middle some sort of threader so it's useful for your stitching. So once you make it up, it's not going to ruin it. You can use. I'm, I'm, I'll use it for my stitching. And I'm assuming that there's the card in the in it as well to get the shape. There must be. So it's very pretty. And that that little metal thing that I showed you was is the is the top there. So that's another one that I've got, I'm going to get to. And then this is the other last one. This is just then. Um, tea with honey. It's a little box. It's got the pretty little pins. Just Nan has pins for everything. Um, pins, it's a little cupcake, little tea cup, little kettle. And you stitch her up. It's got some beads. That's the bottom. You get the trimming. Trimming's in here. And the flowers. These, I love these. I think of these. So that's really pretty. And then these are my pride and joy. I don't know if I will stitch these up eventually. I don't know when. And these are just Nan. I told you I've got a thing for just Nan. And this is my thing for these are my just Nan. Sorry, I've just got to read something. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So there's four parts in this. The first one is um, Barnaby's Bride. I've pulled these out of the box because um, they all come in a box and I keep them protected in their box. And this is the little enamel bee that, that comes with, that, that is the centerpiece. How pretty is that? I love the colours. And it's a bee. Very cute. And the little bee opens up. It's got a little inside. Very pretty. So that's the bee. And he's called Barnaby's Bride. And what you do is you make up 
a needle roll. So he has a little needle roll. So he comes with a little bit of fabric and the button and that sort of thing. There's a little bee in there, teeny tiny bee. It gets used. And he, he make up this needle roll. And then the needle roll sits inside him. How adorable is that? And then you must glue this little bit of fabric on with the flower on the top on the inside. And all that fits inside Barnaby. And I just love that. That's adorable. So that's um so that's the first one. So see how quick they will be to stitch though, really, and make up. And I just love knowing that I've got them to stitch. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna stitch them. I had to search for these. Um they smell musty because they're very old. But um yeah, oh, I just love it. So that's the bee. So the bee. And then there's the ladybug. This is Lady Scarlet. This is the ladybug. She opens up. It's very pretty. This one was a hassle. I got it shipped to, because I'm in Australia, so I got it shipped to America. They wouldn't ship to Australia, so I got it shipped to an American an a post office address through Australia Post to an in America to their warehouse. And then I got it shipped from the Australia Post warehouse in America to Australia. So this one was hard work. And this is what she looks like when she's done. So it's got another little needle minder in it and a little pin cushion. You attach that to the top, I assume. And then you make up this little needle minder and it fits inside. So then you've got a little case with a little needle minder. Very cute. And these are the bits that go with it. So you've got a little button for your needle minder. Can you see that? It's a bit hard. I've got a new phone and it's not focusing as well. Um, and the beads. So I'm very excited. And that's your little that's the back of the little needle minder. So you've got a pit pattern and then you put your needles in you. And that sits inside. So that's those ones. I better not I'm gonna make sure I don't get these mixed up. I'll put that one in. Then that one. And then I've got, so there's four in this, and then we've got Noella's Christmas Berry. Now all of these come up periodically. They're not in they're not in production anymore. They're all out of production. But if you look on eBay, like I've been saying the whole time, they come up and you find them. So this is Noella's Christmas Berry. And it's a beautiful enamel bed. Look at that. So cute. She opens up like all the others. And she makes, now I don't have a colour picture of just like those ones because then they changed it. So this is the box. So on the box, you can see you get a, you make up a little strawberry. So it's probably going to be similar in size to the little mouse because they're all about the same. So you get got the little mouse. And I would say she'll be similar in size and she should fit. Aim is that she fits in there and she sits inside. But he's got a tail on. A bit different. So she'll fit inside. And so you do this beautiful little strawberry with a ribbon. And then she can hang off his beak. Or whatever. So, so pretty. And then you get your little pack. Must be for the strawberry fabric. Fabric for the strawberry and the beads. And that, that's his ribbon. So that's the, that's the birdie. And then there's Minerva's mouse. And Minerva is the owl. And look at this owl, back of the owl, beautiful. And that's the enamel box for the, for the mouse. And he opens up as well. Beautiful. And again, I don't have a cold picture like that, but I've got the box. And there's Minerva, Minerva's mouse. And she's this beautiful little white mouse with pretty, pretty colors and stitching. And she sits inside as well. So she sits, she can sit inside. I'll use my other one. Oops, stuck to the thing. You can sit inside there. And then it closes. Except we've got a tail. So it won't quite work. This one. So yeah. And that's the fabric. A little bit of um, the bottom for the mouse because they're all weighed down with a little weight so they stand up. The bees and the, the tail, you put some wire through that. 
and that's what it looks like. So I'm holding off stitching them because as you can tell with the size of these little ones, they don't take that long. So um, they're very quick. So they're the, these are my pride and joy. I've got the two birds and the bee and the ladybird. And I love them. So that's it. That's my favorite stash. Seems like a lot. A lot of it won't take that long. A lot of it, some of it will be quicker than others. Some of it's going to take a while and some of it I'm a bit scared to start. But I hope you enjoyed my stash. I hope you didn't find it too boring. It's taken a bit longer than I thought. Um, but thank you so much for watching my video. And um, thank you for the lovely comments that you've all been leaving. And um, it's really nice because I was not sure about my first video. And it was nice to receive some nice feedback. Um, saying that, you know, you liked what I was doing, which was good. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my stash. I hope I've inspired some of you to do something. If I've done that or sent you on the searching train, which I seem to spend all my days doing, all my, a lot of my time searching for stuff. Well, that's, that's probably not a bad thing. So um, yeah, I hope, you, I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you soon for my February update. Okay, bye.